Welcome to the Chamber's Elevated Conversations podcast. And now, your host, Dave Ekman. Hi, my name is Dave Ekman, President and CEO of the Greater Wausau Chamber of Commerce, and welcome to another uh, version of Elevated Conversations. Today with me is Todd Maurer from uh, TC Tear- Teardrop Trailers. Fantastic new emerging company in the greater Wausau region, and I'm excited to be talking uh, with Todd today. And Todd, your wife Carol's not able to be here with us, but we extend uh, appreciation to her as well for, for being part of this community. Thanks. So, Todd, um, a lot of people don't know about TC Teardrop Trailers. So, but before we get to that little story um, that's starting to emerge big, um, why don't you just share real quick how you and Carol got into this business? <laughs> so, uh, Carol and I uh, got married 15 years ago, and uh, and uh, back in 2008, I had a uh, uh, well, before we got married, um, but we uh, ended up uh, having a, a pop-up trailer and, you know, just kind of crappy weather and stuff and setting it up and down and everything. We came back from one of those uh, rainy weekends, uh, got home and I had to set everything up and air it out and dry it out. And it was like nine o'clock at night and we uh, sit down in front of the TV and watched, uh, we're watching Harvey Crazy and Carol's like, it you know, it had all the home built teardrops. And uh, Carol's like, Oh, I'd love to have one of those. And I said, Serious, I've always wanted to build one. So uh, I sold the pop up that next uh, week while she was at work on a Saturday. <laughs> I, I put the pop up out front and on Stewart Avenue where we lived and uh, sold it. And that funded our very first teardrop. And that's what got into it. That is cool. So you and you and Carol, and and I believe the rest of your family too, um, are big into outdoor adventure, camping, and biking, and things like that. Correct. Correct. Yeah, and that's what kind of brought us onto the to the lifestyle of the teardrop because now we can carry our bikes and our mountain bikes and our, our kayaks and everything. Great. So you uh, you call Wausau home, and what I'd like to do first is kind of exp- allow our audience to understand. Um, where you're located, how you make things, how, what your process of ordering is so that people know, and then how they can reach out to you. But then I would like to talk about the industry after that more specifically. So if you could, where are you? So as far as our location goes, yes. um, you know, we're at, uh, just bought a new building, actually. Um, the old GB vending building, it's been here for 30 years. I believe before that it was the uh, the um, garage for the Wasa uh, trucks back in the day, um, but since then it's been remodeled and stuff uh, throughout all those years. Uh, it hasn't been changed much since the seventies, but we're just past uh, Wasa uh, the the Wichita's ballpark on the right hand side, twenty four hundred nine Third Street. So, and you just you're expanding, right? Yeah, and we we. Uh, moved our building other building was just on DeVoe Street which is just across the street from here um so we actually have moved into this building which was an easy move for us and that was just a month ago that we bought this building and you're growing um you know you were 2018 small business of the year and uh you're you're doing big things and you you know it's really I think unique where people might think well they build campers, recreation campers that you would be selling to, to dealers, but you really sell directly to the public, correct? We do. We've stayed direct just because, it, you know, it's going to save the end user money um, and get a nicer product. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we sell all over the, the United States and, and we sell parts all over the world. So that's really helped us. The parts uh, side of it has really been a great uh, add on to our business once we got into that. Yeah, terrific. So let's talk about the industry a little bit, Todd. Um, you know, you start seeing a lot of these uh, independent small campers that can be that can be uh, uh, trailered by small cars, right? Yeah. You don't need a big heavy truck. Right. Yeah, that's what's nice about it. And so um, that's a, is it, how's the market in terms of um, the type of product you sell and others? Is that a you see it as an emerging market? Um, you know, I, we've seen it 
since day one, since we got into business, uh, we've always seen this as been a really good market to be in. Um, and it's progressed every year, and you know, and I always said that I'd never move out of my garage uh, when I started business. You know, it was just really nice, just myself, you know. And then Carol came into the business about six months later, and, and uh, which I really needed her. So she, yeah. she's great on that, uh, helping out and holding tools and building, and and then just keeping track of the customers and and bookwork and all that. Yeah, um, yeah. But we've always been busy, and then, you know. And at that point, I was like, okay, what happens if I get hurt? Who's going to take it over? So that's when I started bringing in people and then uh, my son. And then uh, then we kept moving up from there. Yeah, true small family business. Um, so when somebody wants to um, order from you, what's the best way to take them through that process? So um, number one is to hop on our website. Uh, Carol's recently built our, a new website. And... Uh, we make it pretty easy to go on there and um, go through our estimate page and you can actually build the trailer now and see your price going up you know to where you want it uh, you can kind of you can play around with it all on your own to see get it in your price range which is really nice That's and, then, and then you end up sending that off to us and then Carol writes an invoice invoice up off of that okay so um, so when you uh when you do this work, are you finding that there's a lot of campers that want to have bike racks or kayak racks put on these things? Pretty much every trailer that goes out here has a rack on it for kayaks and bikes. Um, newest thing is emerging is e-bikes. Uh, so we have to make a few little changes just because of the, yeah, it's um, just because of the weight of them. So we, we yeah. I talk to the customer and what their plans are, what they're doing, and, and make adjustments accordingly to each trailer. So. Right. Um, and that's where I really play a role into that is that we have to juggle stuff around so that we don't have too much time wait for a smaller car or, or not enough. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I walked, when I came into your shop that first time that I met you and Carol, um, I was surprised at the amenities that these, that these trailers have. You got air conditioners, yep. right? You've got a full kitchen. I mean, a full kitchen in the back, a galley kitchen. Uh, just tremendous what these have. Do you have a do you have a, like a um, a gallery of pictures on your website that people can look at? We do on our on our website. We keep keep the picture a little more simple, but then we have a ton of pictures on our on our Facebook page, uh, TC Teardrops LLC Facebook okay. page. That's where you'll see a ton of pictures and our travels and stuff like that. Okay, so you know we got a pretty good vision of what the where you're heading you're growing in the company you just bought a new location you're expanding um you're busy um i always talk to you and you're busy um so let me ask you in closing between your and carol where do you what was has been your most adventurous trip what's been the most fun the most fun is when we head west each spring uh and we go out to uh our show in Flagstaff, Arizona, Overland Expo West, we call it. Um, we typically are on the road for four to six weeks, and we do a big portion of that uh, off-road. And we stay in just very, very remote spots um, uh, along the routes, where if something happened, nobody would find you for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> There's a distinction with your trailer, is it not, that you do a lot of, you do more off-road type trailer? We do. Um, you know, it depends on what you're looking at. We do an array of trailers. I have built trailers for um, a hot, for uh, uh, the Toyota Prius, um, all the way up to full-on off-road trailers for the biggest vehicle, whatever you want to do, you know, sure. go out to Moab, Utah, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, fun. Um so have you, along the way on those long trips that you go on, do you uh, keep like a, I got to eat here, I got to eat here, I got to go here type of diary? You know, I'm not a planner that way. <laughs> <laughs> we like to hit the road and uh, we, uh, when we hit the road, we are pretty just, Carol, Carol's, you know, on board with me too. It's a, we just kind of go with the flow. Yeah. Um, we don't know where we're going to spend the night that day. Uh, we have enough food and that, that travels with us, and like you were saying, with, with our with our galley, we have, you know, we have twelve volt coolers, uh, fridge freezers. Uh, we carry enough food to last for probably two weeks 
Um, and you may not know where we're going to, we don't know where we're going to be that next night. We really don't. That's fun. That's yeah. adventure. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so when, um, when you do, um, expand, hopefully, um, in your, in your set, we might be able to come over and just pay you a visit and kind of do a follow-up discussion and, and maybe do a, a cutting for you too. We are looking forward to that. Definitely. Um, I just, yeah, I want the audience to know that this is a very uh, special family company in this community doing big things. Uh, there's a lot of passion and energy for what they do and what they make, a lot of pride. And I just want to thank you for calling Wausau home and, and this community is there to help you grow. Well, thank you. I mean, we, we try and do as much business as we can also with the community. Um, it's, uh, it's been great to us. The community has been great to us. The state of Wisconsin has been great to us um, and all of our surrounding states. And it just keeps broadening out for us. Um, it's uh, Carol and I are fortunate to call us, call us home. Yeah. Uh, as our kids are leaving now, they, uh, you know, our oldest son just uh, left the business uh, last year, but you know, they're moving to Oregon. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So they just, they, they just left uh, this morning they're gone. Um, but in return, we're bringing a younger person back into the community. Sure. Um, we are hiring a general manager, or we have hired. Uh, he accepted the position, but he's coming from San Francisco. Nice. They came here. We, we flew them in last uh, Wednesday, and they left. They stayed here until Monday this last week. And uh, we put them up in the Jefferson Street Inn. Mm -hmm. They had nothing but good things to say about it. Um, the community, the town, they're a very recreational um, couple. Sure. Uh, white water, raft, you know, uh, boats, uh, mountain biking, motorcycle riding. They, they, everything was checked off their box when they came here. And they really, really checked into it. I mean, they were all day long checking into all the stuff. So yeah. it checked every box for them. Well, know that we're here. Um, we're here to help them get plugged into this community. Yep. Okay, would love to would love to meet them because we we have a lot to learn from young people like that that are transplanting themselves here. Yep, I agree. We do. I mean, and that's the that's the age group we want to come in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah we need to grow. So, yeah. Todd, thanks for your time. I Thank know you, you got to. You know, it's 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 always good to talk to you and. Uh, we just appreciate you here in the community and thank you for being uh, with us today on Elevated Conversations. Carol, I thank you very much. We'll hopefully right. see you soon over here. Yes, sir. Take care. Right. See you. Bye. This podcast episode is a production of the Greater Wausau Chamber of Commerce. Hello.